Uh, good morning, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to try and take some photos of a tower in Tilehurst. Um, reason being is um, I've been looking into locations um, near me to photograph something new, um, something out of my comfort zone. So I've decided to come to Tilehurst. Um, it's a new location. I'm not sure what's going to weather it's going to be like. Um, it might be more of a scouting expedition. When I uh, left, the conditions were going to be ideal, but it doesn't look like that this way. At the moment, it looks um, like a, a milky white sky. Um, so, it, it, as I say, it could be just a, a scouting location, see what happens. So this is what I'm here to uh, photograph. That's wildest folly in the background. Um, I don't know if you can see, well you should be able to see that, it's quite a big tower. Um, an old brick tower. Um, I'm in Tilehurst. Uh, incidentally, not far from where I used to go into school, about a mile away. Uh, not that you know we're near Reading. Um, I'm in the middle of nowhere, it would appear. You can kind of hear motorway noise in the background, the old M4 rattling past. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go set up and take some photos. So I'm not sure if you can see that on this uh, wobbly screen, but that's my composition at the moment. Um, I'm going to shoot it uh, completely manual. Uh, hang on, the screen's just gone dark. Um, so I've gone for mainly sky. I'm probably going to crop this down. Um, the sky is looking not too bad, so hopefully I'm going to be okay. Uh, I'm going to use a 10-step neutral density filter on that. Um, which will probably give you an exposure time of about one minute. Anyway, if it's any good, there'll be a picture coming up right about now. Well, that's the first one I've got in the bag. Um, and I think it'll be all right once I've photoshopped it. It's probably going to be a monochrome. I'm going to try another one in... Um, landscape mode just to see uh, the difference it's probably going to be more sky and I'm probably put it on the thirds a bit more you know anyway if this one comes out uh, there's a uh, picture on the screen coming up right now right, I'm going to quickly jump in here uh, right now and talk about the um, filters I used on this uh, shoot seascape video i was v very unhappy with the, the the quality of my 10 stop filter i borrowed some case filters and i was amazed by the quality and how little i had to do in photoshop afterwards um so i i uh, went and did a bit of googling for some filters um and the case filters were you know well out of my budget um they're about 400 quid i think for a set um i know you could get them discounted but still, I needed something more affordable. Mm. So a bit of Googling, I came up across uh, these. Um, there you go. Wait for the video to come in focus. These are KNF uh, filter set. Now, they, these are magnetic, similar to the case filters I used before. And inside the lovely protective couch, you get four filters. Um, you, first of all, you get the step-up adapter ring, not, um, which fits to your camera. You get a... UV filter. You also get a circular polarizer. And the one that I was after was the sunglasses for my camera. This has been a 10 stop uh, filter. Now, these magnetic filters are really easy to use. Um, so, you know, you just get your camera, you put the uh, adapter ring on, the filter thread. And in my case, this is a 50, 72 millimeter adapter filter thread. And then you can just plonk your filter on. So I've, I've stuck a, my, the polarizer on there, but you know, the advantage of this system is 
I can just stick another filter on there um, when I need one, this, this time being a, uh, the 10 stopper. And again, you can just keep adding them. And that's uh, the UV filter. So yeah, really simple to use. The only thing negative I can say about it, because the quality was really good, I would have liked another neutral density filter in there um, to stack it. Uh, I would have liked a uh, three stop filter in there instead of possibly the UV filter. Now I looked at the KNF Concept uh, website and they don't even appear to have a, a three stopper in the magnetic system. So that's the only negative point. But if you're on a budget, these seem to be great. Um, I got mine for around about £80. I did have a discount code. I think they're normally around about 100 but four filters for £100. A very good quality what's not to like well that's a couple of photographs i've got in the bag today um i think they're going to be all right uh even though the sky wasn't that forgiving so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video i'm going off to have a cup of tea and a bacon sarnie now and probably catch up on some sleep uh see you in the next video